Hey, how you doing? Today, five guys, hot dog, ketchup, mustard, and some onion. Oh, and a couple fries. And I got my Coca-Cola today. So, we're going to give this a try. I know I like these fries. They're always good. Yeah, not bad. That hot dog was pretty good too. Now, I was thinking today, as I was getting uh, my hot dog and fries, about family reunions. And when I was a young kid, we would go to these family reunions at uh, parks. Like, the whole family would rent some pavilion at a park so they would have the picnic tables and everything there. But a big part of that is because there was a lot of people. So my grandfather came from a family where there were 11 kids. There was five boys and six girls. Well, that's because my grandfather and grandmother lived on a farm. And so they had a lot of kids. And there were several reasons for that in the past. One, uh, the, the more kids they had, uh, the more labor for working on the farm and stuff. But there was also, uh, back then, a high uh, mortality rate for kids. There just wasn't the medicine and stuff that there is today. And also, back there in that time, there wasn't the birth control methods that there are today. Like, this was back way before the 60s, and this FDA and stuff just approved the pill in like the 60s. So, that was huge for uh, birth control back in the 60s. But, nonetheless, there was a lot of them, and you just don't see that today. And so you can imagine, it was a large gathering at these family reunions, easily 50 or 60 people. And, you know, everybody would be bringing some food and stuff for the, the picnic, like a gathering. But there were always the hamburgers and hot dogs 
and the, uh, a lot of the families would make like potato salad and eggs, like red beet eggs and deviled eggs and stuff like that. And so, all the guys would be gathering around this uh, grill, cooking the hamburgers and hot dogs and stuff. But it wasn't a grill like today, you know, like a, where you have the propane bottle and what looks like a grill. It looked more like a fireplace, like a brick uh, frame with a chimney and stuff and they would burn these coals and all charcoal and stuff and it had these metal grates on it large metal grates this thing was probably four foot crossed and three or four foot deep. You could cook a lot of burgers on that thing at a time. They would just cover those metal grates with like some aluminum foil and stuff and start cooking. Because like I said, there was a lot of people there. The whole family. Of course, everybody's running around this whole big area and all the kids are playing games and stuff. There was always coolers of uh, soda and stuff. And, uh, of course, all the older uh, adults were drinking beer and stuff like that. But that family reunion was like once a year. So this was way before social media or the internet or anything else. So it gave everybody a chance to really gather together at least once a year to get to know all the families, see who all is doing what, and gather together for reminiscing there was a lot of storytelling and stuff because a lot had happened in that past year You know, you might have had cousins and stuff that during that past year, you know, they got married or they were doing certain activities in school or something. And you didn't really catch up with them too much. Yeah, people would visit sometimes on a weekend, but you wouldn't get that gathering of the entire family, except that once a year at that family reunion.
I remember, you know, uh, most of the guys too, especially when they were gathering around the uh, cooking sort of fireplace looking thing. They were picking their, their teams for uh, horseshoes because there would always be a big horseshoe tournament, you know, at this event too. So all of my uncles and stuff would be, like I said, picking their teams and sort of placing bets on who's going to win this horseshoe tournament, you know. But normally all the kids, we'd be playing like baseball or pitching a baseball or uh, the, the girls always brought their jump ropes and everything, you know. But it's not common to see families anymore today with that number of kids. In fact, the next generation, after my great-grandparents, the next generation, they might have had three or four kids, which is more common today, even two or three kids, you know. Not that many, though. But they also all lived in the same town. So they could have those kind of get togethers and stuff. A lot of times today, you know, you if you have two or three kids, let's say, you know, one of them gets accepted to some college out in California or something. Well, now they're out there. Another one might go to school in New York or somewhere. They might not be able to get home at the same time and stuff. But it's sort of been replaced with social media. Because it was more common for me uh, just to have a cookout, you know, with like my immediate family. Because I have two sons and... They live in the area. And of course they certainly did when they were younger. And so I would just uh, 
call my mom and dad, let's say, when my kids were young, and say, hey, we're going to have a uh, picnic today, like a cookout. And then I might have called, like, one of my brothers, and he brought his kids over. Of course, it wasn't the whole family, but it's still uh, just a cookout with those particular people, you know. But then in more recent times, okay, we would have that little gathering for that cookout. Well, you could just take some pictures of that, put them up on Facebook or whatever social media you got, and then the rest of your family could see them, whether they were in California or wherever they were. So the whole idea of like the once a year family reunion sort of got replaced with all the advances in the internet, social media. You know, you can do a video call with somebody no matter where they're at. So like if they're in California or something, okay, just do a video call, you know. But it's a lot different than back when my grandfather's family was that that age. You know, I mean, they, they didn't have that technology. And so the common thing was they would have their once a year family reunion, you know, with everybody there. because they might not have seen them since the last family reunion. So it really gave them a, a reason to get together and tell stories and bond together as a family, you know, at least at that once a year thing. Where today, with all the social media, I could instantly get a hold of, if I had a brother in Lake California, I could just do a video call with him today and catch up with him and see each other face to face, the same as the old time family reunions and stuff. But that's about it for that hot dog and fries. Take care of yourself, and until the next time, I'll see you later.